dear viewers and subscribers welcome again to our youtube channel max the service please subscribe and uh, press the bell icon to receive all notifications regarding any video we are uploading on this channel let's start creating angular application as in last video we have completed how to add new service in docker compose and uh, how to uh, start communication from any service like we have con core to mysql and we use uh, for that spring boot uh, and uh, mysql and we also use rest apis uh, for uh, rest apis i just going to uh, i want to replace uh, with front end for front end i choose angular and uh, for that uh, prerequisites are node and uh, uh, angular cli and for that, uh, if you have already installed, then you can check like uh, uh, node, sorry, node version. Okay, we have already installed node and we can install uh, NPM, uh, Angular CLI uh, with the example of NPM, install global Angular CLI. Guys, if you never uh, mention version here, then it will install the latest version of Angular. So I have already installed npm C, uh, Angular CLI. Uh, uh, for that, I can show you. Yeah, here is the latest one. So now we have to create our first Angular application and we can name it uh, like ng new demo UI. Okay. Uh, yeah, and it is asking to which kind of CSS it should be import by default. So we are choosing by default CSS, and then it is again asking for any functionality we need for server side rendering. Yes, definitely we will need, and for routing, yes, please add routing functionality as well. So it will just creating all the structure or application. Uh, we will be having a full-fledged running application with all mandatory uh, components, libraries, dependencies will be automatically set up and installed. So just we will be uh, executing this application to view the results. So guys, for this, just first of all, we will be uh, running this Angular application standalone on my local machine. Then we will use Docker file, how to dockerize this application, Angular application. Then after that, uh, we will uh, uh, introduce Docker Compose. Then fi in, uh, finally, we will add this Angular demo UI with our Docker Compose. Okay so that we can uh, use uh, one Docker Compose to up and running all these services in one go instead of managing and maintaining different Docker file. As you can see, we already have been running demo application and we it is available on uh, GitHub. And guys, also you can see here, I have uh, so check out different branch demo UI. So I'm working in demo UI, you can also download and uh, start working with this as we have uh, been managing and uh, in, uh, working with the same project demo. Uh, it will be included all the functionality and uh, uh, whatever we are going to discuss, whatever we are going to complete. Uh, yeah. So here is, uh, we have got demo UI. Yeah, here you can see. So first of all, to execute this, I have to uh, navigate to demo uh, UI, CD, demo UI. Okay, and then just uh, we need to execute ng serve. Yes. It is building our application. Okay, Ooh, great. Then we can just click on it and we can see the results. Yeah, here you can see that hello demo UI. So guys, we have created successfully our first Angular application. Uh, I have shown you the steps 
uh, to start with Angular. And let me explain a little bit more about uh, the architecture of application. Here you can see that uh, here is uh, node module, all the dependencies what we import and what we utilize third party even related to node modules all automatically downloaded updated here whenever we execute uh, npm install whatever we install within an angular application it is available under this module here you can see all the uh, basic functionality are available here and another thing it automatically create with basic folder app and it also have index here you can see this is what we are able to see on the ui and uh, if we talk about the architecture whenever we create a component it automatically create four files like css html uh, specification of uh, typescripts and typescript these are four files every module create uh, every component create to create a component with the uh, angular we just need to create like if i am going to create uh, uh, let's suppose about uh, module about component then uh, i can just uh, write ng g component we i can also write component uh, whole and then uh, i i have to provide the component name like about okay it will create about component for me under about folder one thing more if you want to create a component without folder then just you need to provide flat flag okay it will not create folder and it will create all the uh, these four files on the same level so if you want to create a module then just you need to go, uh, uh, type ng global m and then module name like if you want to uh, create a module also about then it will create module about and uh, if i want to I, I i don't want to create folder then i will use flat okay so later on we will be working uh, on all of this first i have to explain you the uh, our four files created we will be using all the css uh, for this module like uh, as it is uh, uh, root level then i will be using uh, i mean application level i will be using all the uh, styling sheet here then it's a uh, html template all the html related code i will be using here in this component and then it is about just for specification and after that it's a typescript where i will be importing it's it's a kind of a controller uh, i mean even it's a container of some components some parts of here i can just uh, tell this uh, component okay what is your selector uh, i can use uh, my selector uh, for the styling sheet i can use templates uri here you can see it's a url of uh, my html which render on the web page and here is style url here is uh, the uh, path of my style sheet i can also use html instead of uh, url i can also use like uh, i can also use like template and then i can provide uh, html here like uh, h1 hello demo h1 and the, if i don't want to provide html separate html file then i can use template and for same we can use uh, standalone code for like style sheet and other one okay so after that we have uh, we have another configuration like if we want to configure all the like uh, related to routing related to any uh, setup and configuration about this project then i have to use uh, this uh, config server file because it's on root level and remember one thing that all the uh, because it's a hierarchical uh, project if it is on root level anything related to app configuration you must configure here anything related to 
application routing you must be configuring here and anything related to um, root level mean app level these are the uh, components and uh, this is the default uh, HTML which if there is no routing then this HTML page is going to be rendered we have also styles CSS uh, which can be used on application level and here is angular JSON uh, actually in this uh, this is related to all the dependencies and um, libraries being used in this uh, project this is uh, package lock because it is used for as a backup if you we can revert to previous changes and uh, here you have to provide your application name your application version all the commands being used and all the configuration like here you can see okay at what version I'm working with so all of this uh, you can find here as well so uh, we will be discussing uh, uh, one by one when we will be working with all of this uh, any component any service I will be uh, explaining you so tools and technology creating first angular application I have provided you version so that you can uh, start with working uh, it and if you get any conflict or issue you can fix at your end and I will be committing this code on github and you can download and uh, I mean clone and uh, or you can do some practice at your end so in next video we will be adding docker file uh, after dockerization then you will go for containerization so bye okay please subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed yet and also do like share in your circle these videos and also provide your valuable comments and uh, i hope you will be liking and sharing uh, so that i will be continuing with rest of the uh, technologies and tools sharing with you thanks